Welcome to your introduction video of semi-permanent individual eyelash extensions. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you on a practice eye how to separate the lash and my application technique. Now onto my practice eye I've actually stuck a strip lash onto there. I have my jade stone to the side of me with micropore tape on and then my glue on top of that. The tweezers I'm going to be using are X tweezers and straight tweezers. I have my PPE on, which is my gloves, and I've also taped my lashes to the back of my hand. Now, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna be applying the extensions with my right hand and separating with my left. So, to get my extensions, I'm gonna use the X tweezers, separate an extension from the strip, pinching it out of the very tip, and then removing that extension. Now I'm going to go onto the eye, holding my tweezers like a pen, and I'm just going to gently stroke the lashes, and this will help to separate them. Prior to this, you can brush the lashes through using a clean spoolie. Now, I'm just separating an individual lash. And then making sure that I only have one lash at a time and holding that separate, the rest of the lashes separate with my straight tweezers. I'm now going to apply the glue onto the root of my extension. And now I'm going to gently stroke the natural lash with the glue and then I'm going to place my extension next to the lash. Now keep that extension or the rest of the lashes away from that extension for about five to ten seconds so you're allowing the glue to dry before you release the lashes either side. I'm going to let go now. Just to show you once more, again taking an extension from my left hand, I'm then going to separate an individual lash and making sure all the lashes surrounding this chosen lash are moved away. Prep my extension with the glue, stroking that extension all the way up that natural lash so you're transferring the glue and then gently applying that extension, making sure it's going in the curvature, the natural lash, and again, keeping it separated for about five to 10 seconds to allow the glue to dry, and then release.